If you like what you see, please subscribe and like James's channel. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon so you'll be notified of future train videos. Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Rapido Trains HO Scale Rio Grande Ski Train. Now, there are different coaches and cars in this ski train offering from Rapido. Several different cars, actually. 17, I believe, total, three of which are exclusive through Spring Creek Model Trains. The rest you can get through your local hobby shop or online retailer. So we'll take a look at what you get in the box starting right now. Quickly unbox this, and that end is really tucked in there. <coughs> so we're pulling. And we get all sorts of paperwork. So, get this. Talking about the model 22 inch radius, we'll skip the radius test because we're going to be pretty busy going over a lot of this. It talks about the couplers, etc. etc. Got to kind of rush through this because we've got a lot of cars to cover. Talks about tuning up the cars, wheel rollability, the ski train roster, lighting couplers, again, and brake discs, which we'll go over in the review. Parts diagram. Torpedo trains, loving trains as much as you do, is the slogan, I guess. <clears throat> and I would have to agree with that. They have some of the best passenger equipment I've seen in the market. Some of this stuff does not want to focus, but there's a decal sheet as well. And the decal is based on the different numbering that occurred on the cars, depending on when you're wanting to model the cars. So sometimes they had it uh, right on there, sometimes you had... Uh, ski train Rio Grande on there. <clears throat> so, just some flexibility with the decals, White Rubber Productions, my pamphlet as well. All right, we're out of paperwork finally. Extra coupler, extra brake discs, the ski train. That was uh, something that can go on the side as well, based on when you're modeling, which car. Magnetic wand, and finally, seven years later, we get into the car. So this is just the unboxing. There's several cars to look at, so let's get them all out. All right, I'm going to give you everything I can and a real quick look at these because there's several I'm going to have to Vanna White. We're going to start with details on overall the entire production run. And then we'll just show off all the different variants and all the different cars in the eight cars that I have here. So first of all, if you start off at the side, laser etched rivets adorn the side and top of this car. You can see them, the grid patterns up there on the roof and along the sides. If you look carefully, I recommend you have this in full 1080p HD if you want to see the full details of the car. Corrugated sides down here, got windows. Uh, that are have kind of gaskets and nice, nice fine print around the side. Rio Grande, Pikes Peak is the car label there, and that can be replaced with the ski train label um, because during some of its life, there, here's the ski train labels in there. Some of its life, it had just the ski train on the side. So that's the replaceable placard on that end, and that kind of covers some of the stuff on the center. As we go to an end here, I'm going to try to focus in and not lose the car off the off the <laughs> platform here. Really hard to get the details. So you can see the brake discs that are showing on these trucks here. We'll talk about that later when we flip them around. The vestibule ends where loading and unloading would occur with separately applied grab irons. Okay, a little dark here. Studio lighting is not the best, but you can see 
the vestibule gate, which I think they're the only manufacturer that does that. Inside is a, I think on some of these is a, a brake for the car, I'm not sure, but another thing that pops out is the lighted ends. So these cars, all I think all of them have lighted ends and you can activate that with the wand, get that to illuminate red, metal coupler, and you got all your hookup hoses down there, which we'll talk about when we flip this over. <clears throat> it's hard to catch a graceful look at this <laughs> based on the studio lighting and some of the things we're working through. But you can just see on the other side a nice view across the car. Now, I'm going to try to hold this up close. We do have lighting so you can see the interior. Now, these interiors have pretty cool effects, including the seating. So these are inside where you can see coach seating with the headrest. These are wing headrests. You know, you can fold them out or fold them in to prop your little head up when you're trying to sleep. But you can see the end of those seats there. And then the interiors are just nothing like you've seen on a car. It's hard to catch on video, but just very detailed colors and everything they have right down to the actual ski train. So they make no shortage of taking their time to do the details of these cars. Alright, some things are best viewed upside down and that is the case with these. Although I hear uh, it used to be a case with some ex-girlfriends. But you can see the coupler here and all of the detail starting with the air and signal lines that run around the trucks here. Now these trucks, Hawker Sydney trucks, are spinning caliper trucks. They've got bearings, actual roller bearings in the center here, so that makes a really nice smooth even spin. And they're pivoted there on the screw as you can see, which is standard. You see that all the time. Sometimes there's press fit buttons, but in this case there is a screw. And then you've got the electrical connections that you probably can see that help power the car for the magnetic lighting, uh, magnetically activated lighting, so you don't have to change out batteries like some of the older Rapido cars, uh, those kits anyway, had batteries in them. The conduit and all the lines keep running all the way through, including the air reservoir for the brake rigging here, and we're just getting a little bit out of view, so I'll come over to here. You can see the duct work where it runs here, and then the main junction box. And there's even conduit running up to the main junction box down here. Up a little further, missed the battery box there, but just a lot of detail on the underside. Again, Rapido, probably the best in the industry in terms of passenger car detail. I really wish they'd do the UP executive stuff, UP passenger stuff. Uh, it's modern day, but I think that's already been done. Um, not to quite this level or anywhere near this level, but that's just an underbody look at all of the details there One thing I do want to capture on camera. That's a little hard to do And I'll try to do it here. Okay. These are trap door handrails, so You can see that's like an industry first. You don't usually see that on cars or ever seen on cars for the passenger stuff you see out there in the real world, so that's kind of a rundown I'll give you another quick look of the car and then we're gonna Vanna White some other cars then we'll check all the NMRA stuff and wrap it up all right here's a coach to look at and you may be saying hey James the first one is a coach but the first one is actually a snack coach so Pikes Peak is a snack coach which means you have uh, this little area here where they've I believe they've got a little kitchen sorry just out of view but uh, this is a coach or a little area for seating anyway. This is a coach and we already talked about all the details so it's time to go into 360 mode for the sake of the video uh, being 842 hours long. Now quick programming note, you can get these in three packs like this 131201 series of cars that includes Colorado Springs, North Park, and Mount Elbert or you can get them individual but overall the entire set 14 cars if you get them through brick and mortar retailers, three from Spring Creek Wandle Trains. For you junkies that like boxes, here's the box. As you see, the F40 series of ski train locomotives is on the front. 
Repeater will be doing that, so if you got these cars and you want to complete the set and you're annoyed that you're having to pull it with Amtrak power, don't worry, you'll get your own dedicated ski train power soon. Quick side look, ski train route there on the box as well, pretty cool. And back, another picture of the ski train. Okay, these things are so free rolling that it wants to roll away from me. So this is a parlor club. As you can see, some differences in just the window configuration, what's going on in the interior, which is very hard to pick up on camera, I noticed. This is a little vent area here. Those are differences you're gonna see. And Rapido took the time to tool these correctly based on the cars. They didn't just slap a paint scheme on all these different uh, variations or use the same variation with a paint scheme that's the same. So there you have that look at the parlor and then I'll turn it over. So you do have some differences, I believe, in the bottom. Some ductwork differences, it appears, perhaps. Yes, ductwork differences, sorry. Ductwork differences and underbody detail differences. So they even got that correct for each type of car. Here's the cafe car, North Park. Again, differences in the sides and the bottom of the car compared to what you need or what you see on the other cars. See more of the vent as the kitchen areas in the center there. I believe that's viewable through here. Again, be hard to see, but you can see that kitchen area in the center there for the cafe car or cafe lounge car. Here's a straight coach, Mount Elbert. As you can see there, giving that a whirl just so you can see a type for those that don't have imaginations on nameplate changing or some of the details changing. There you have it, Mount Elbert. Right here is the Parlor Club, Glenwood Springs. Give you a 360 of that car real quick. There's just nice depth too in those vestibules. You see the gate and then that whole open area where the vestibule is is really nice. On this end is where I was talking about the handbrake being in the car and you can see it lining right in there. I gotta figure out a better lighting setup for this but there's that handbrake and underbody detail again. Here's a look at Winter Park. Another 360 and see the ductwork getting a little different than most of these models here. Got that large area of ductwork going down the side. All right, here is the last car we're going to take a look at Mount Evans, a regular coach 360. We talked about coaches before. It's got seating all the way down, window configuration pretty much straight down, silver lined windows there and you can really get a look at the rivets as well and the corrugation on the side underbody detail as well on this so there you have eight cars we went over trying to be quick as possible because next are all the tests all right first test we do on passenger cars is just a free rolling test it's going nice and easy there i do have this handy dandy cutting mat with uh, dimensions on there in inches, we are looking at 11 and a half inches long for this car. Okay, as you can see, I've turned on the lights for the end just by using the magnetic wand here. Off, on, off, on, so you can pick the car that's on the end and have that with your end car lighting. And then you see flicker free lighting inside. So I roll this along on this track. You can see that the lighting is not flickering must have a little capacitor built in or whatever to keep that flicker free and it's nice and evenly spaced a little hard to see um, pretty much dims out fast after getting pulled off the track but there isn't any issues on the track so I don't think you'll see any flickering unless you get really dirty track so let me just zoom in here and show you that lighting up close you can see get a nice peek of the details inside including those coach chairs with the wing-tipped headrest. But yeah, that's what you have on the car. Really nicely detailed cars. 
Now you may recall that I said this was an 11 and a half inch car. That means it should be around seven and a quarter ounces for weight according to the MRA standard. So we'll check that. Of course we are in grams. So let me just get two ounces here. There you have it, it exceeds the weight of the NMRA recommendations, so 7.8 ounces. So I call that compliance. Uh, it's never going to be spot on, but as long as it exceeds, it's good, or it's in the ballpark. 222 grams, 0.78 ounces. So there you have, or 7.8 ounces. So there's the weight. All right, now we're going to check NMRA height compliance. And we're using this AccuTrack as a backdrop. And it looks right on. Check the other side as well. You guys be the judge though. I do not do these directly behind from where I'm at, so it's hard to tell. I'm looking at it from a lot more severe angle than you are. Maybe that one's a bit high. That looks uh, almost in line with the coupler, so I'll call that good. You can call it bad if you want and make the coupler adjustments as needed. All right, last check for the world to see is the NMRA wheels gauge. So see if they are in gauge. Check several of these so far. They are in gauge, but I want to show you these. Sorry if my fat hand and arm are in the way. There you have it. So I'd call this car mostly, if not entirely, NMRA compliant. Well, there you have them in all their glory. There's the eight cars. One thing I didn't really show you, we'll zoom in on real quick, is that these brake discs actually rotate with the movement of the cars. You may be able to see that from this angle, perhaps not. I'm a one-man show here, so it's hard to zoom the camera in and show what I'm talking about at the same time, but you see those Brake rotors moving with the cars, a very cool feature, but there are all eight cars. So, in recap, it was mostly, if not entirely, NMRA compliant. Had a couple of height issue on one or two cars where it was just slightly out of height. That tends to happen. But beautifully lit cars, beautifully detailed cars, definitely the best in the industry in terms of passenger cars at all for all the features they have. And for pricing, uh, I should be able to put that in the video, but if I didn't and missed it in editing, be sure to check out repeatotrains.com for more details. Visit your local hobby shop or favorite online retailer to purchase these. We will see you next time right here on my channel. Thanks for watching and take care.